seafarers are often aware of the risks associated with the day-to-day -day loading and unloading of bulk cargo. But it's not always obvious that the cargoes themselves and their carriage can also be a serious hazard. Some bulk carriers have loaded cargoes which have later liquefied, leading to instability and capsize. Other vessels have loaded cargoes which have suffered violent chemical reactions, resulting in catastrophic explosion. Dealing with a potential hazard, once it has become a real hazard, is never easy. Prevention is always better than cure. Part one of this series, Best Practice and the IMSBC Code, provides an introduction to the mandatory International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargoes Code. The IMSBC Code gives practical guidance on the risks from different bulk cargoes by providing valuable information on how to handle safely some 150 different types of commodity. From identification and assessing acceptability, through to handling, carriage and discharge. As well as guiding ship's personnel on how to use this information, the programme supplements the IMSBC code by illustrating a logical chain of best practice actions that can be applied to the handling of all solid bulk cargoes. And to prevent accidents, each of these links must be sound every time. Part two looks in detail at some of the more dangerous and difficult mineral and man-made derivative cargoes. Some of these commodities can liquefy in the hold during passage if the moisture content is too high, threatening stability whilst others create chemical reactions that can give rise to toxic or explosive gases. Using the IMSBC code as the key reference tool and combining in-depth analysis and interviews with leading experts, the following cargoes and their handling requirements are looked at in detail. Direct reduced iron, ammonium nitrate, minerals and ores liable to liquefaction, including nickel ore, and that most common of cargoes, coal. In each case, the emphasis is placed upon an awareness of the risks. Remembering that safety applies as much to people as to the ship. In particular, the programme looks at how ship's personnel can greatly reduce the chances of loading an unsafe cargo by verifying the shipper's documentation and figures given for temperature and moisture content. The regular monitoring of the cargo condition within the hold, essential to controlling atmospheres, temperatures or maintaining stability, is also looked at. The dangerous and difficult bulk cargoes training package, just like the IMSBC code, it's a practical tool for reminding seafarers of the hazards of many of the bulk cargoes they carry.